In this video with the On King, I'm going to go over how to update Dex, and this is version 2 of this video because we've had a lot of cool updates in the add-on. And this includes how to keep your scheduling and your edits. So I'm going to explain how this works, and this is really important because it will allow you to do just about anything that you want if you understand it. So every card has a node ID, and it's when you're importing a deck, it's going to check that the node ID matches, and then it's going to move on to the next step, which is to check and make sure that the note type matches. As long as that matches, everything is good, we move forward. If the node ID does not match, then it's going to say it added the card. Essentially, it sees it as a new card. And if the note type doesn't match, then it's going to say that it skipped the card. It's not going to update it because the note type doesn't match. Now, this is actually, I'm going to talk about in a second, we just updated to correct this. But without this update, you would have a flashcard, and this is the name of my note type. And if you had one in your current deck, but for whatever reason, yours was different from the one being imported, there were new fields added or something that changed it, then Anki would import it with the same name and add a bunch of numbers and letters at the end just so that you know it's a different note type. Okay, but assuming both of these are going to match, it's going to move on, and you've got, these are the fields in a note type, so the text and the extra, the front and the back of a close card, and you've got the front and the back in the current deck as well. Now, when you import that deck, it's going to come across, and it's going to update them, and it will overwrite everything in your current deck with the deck that's being imported. Now the special fields add-on adds a really cool element here. It allows you to protect a field. So let's say you've been making changes to the extra field and you don't want that to be over overwritten. Then it's going to update and it'll only update the text section. It will not update the extra section because you protected it with the special fields add-on. Now the special fields add-on also allows you to do a bunch of fancy things with the tags. So if we're going to protect the extra section and the text section, it's not going to do anything. Now there's a, a setting in special fields where we combine tags, we set that to false, which means we want to update the tags. What it's going to do is just completely overwrite the tags. So you can only alter the tags and not the fields if you want to. You can also do a mixture of the two. The special fields add-on allows you to do that. Now there's also, if you set combine tags to true, this can be really useful if you want to import a friend's tags without messing up yours. And that's just going to import, now you have both sets of tags. Now, like I said, there's a lot of new special fields updates. These are really, really cool. I'm really excited about them. And as I mentioned, if the note type doesn't match, that was a big issue that we ran into. A lot of people were having problems with it. And we had a, a software engineer go through and change it so that now it will actually force it to update and it will change it and it will make it so that it is the new note type, which is really, really cool. So now you can update just like you would previously. Um, you can protect the fields, whatever, and it will, it will change the note type. I'm going to show you a little more actually on Anki in a second. Now if we set combine tags to false, this is a, also a new feature because we were changing the note types around which was going to make things really difficult. We added a setting where you can choose a protected tag. So you can select a term that it's going to protect and that way you can still set combine tags to false. You can overwrite the tags but you keep the tag that you want to protect and you can actually protect a couple of them. So how do you update? There's the steps you can come back to so that you kind of get an idea. The preparation, you want to put all of the cards in the same head deck. This isn't actually necessary to update the cards, but if there are new cards, it makes a big difference. And I'm going to show you this in a second so you understand. But they can be in any deck. They'll still update. It just helps with organization. Now, in my decks, for the Step 1, Step 2, I use the Onking head deck. And with the new MCAT deck, we'll use Onking-MCAT. And you're going to want to format it just like that. Again, I'll show you in a second. It, previously, you had to ensure everything was the same card type. You don't have to do that anymore, which is super cool. So step one now is just set up the special fields add-on. Step two, you import the new update. And step three, you clean up. A lot of people forget this and they freak out because things aren't looking like what they're supposed to. So don't forget to do this. That includes resetting the special fields add-on, checking the media, and then clearing unused tags. That's a big one. It'll make it so that your tags actually show up. And then select people if you're protecting the text and extra fields and you want the updates that I'm putting in those fields, I'm going to show you how you can get them because I tag those errata changes that I make. I want to give a huge, huge thank you, huge shout out to John Pincock, Arthur Milkior, Henrik Geisel, and Andrew Sanchez. They, those are software engineers that have helped me update this. It's made a huge difference and this has come a long ways. The other thing I want to mention is Anki Hub. This is new and we've already dedicated over $10,000 to this project. It's essentially going to be a collaboration app so that you can suggest changes to these decks and then whoever's the administrator of that deck can approve it and you get an automatic update just like that. So this whole process we're talking about right now will no longer be necessary. 
Check the link in the description below if you want to sign up for email updates so you can hear how this is going or donate to the project. We're really excited about this. The last thing here is you can get individualized help on Patreon. We have a whole team of people. We've done this update process hundreds of times and we're more than happy to help if you're running into errors. So with that, let's go to Anki and I'll show you how all of this is done. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with the first step, which is getting everything organized into the right head deck. Now you'll see these are my step one and step two decks. I've put them all under an Onking head deck. This is important because it allows the new cards to go to the correct location. I've also added these deck descriptions so that you can easily see, you know, if you need to submit an error or something like that, I've added those to these head decks. Now if you're doing the MCAT deck, I'm just gonna use this as an example and create a deck and we'll do Onking MCAT, oops, like that and create a deck and you're just going to want to drag this deck under that. That's the best thing to do. Now like I said, here's the reason why. I've got a new card here. Let's just say we're importing a new card and close it. Now see if I had added a new card to this deck, under Zonky Step Decks Public Health Ethics, if we open this up, now you've got Zonky Step Decks Public Health Ethics. So now you've duplicated the decks essentially, which is just kind of annoying uh, and you don't want to have to deal with that. Now, Like I said, it doesn't matter where the decks are. If you've renamed your decks or reorganized them and the cards are everywhere, it's okay. The cards are still going to update. Um, just try and get the decks that do look like this to be organized this way and then the new cards will go into the right place. Uh, that's essentially what it goes. Okay, so like I said, you don't need to make sure that the cards are the same note type. I'll go into the browser and just to show you as we're doing things. So here's the Close on King Master and we're going to use version two is what's gonna be importing. But all of the cards, you'll see all 43,000 of these are closed on King Master, and the MCAT cards are the Mile Down deck. So these are actually going to update when we do the Special Fields update, which is really, really cool. So to get to the Special Fields, this is step one of the updating process. You're going to go to Tools, Special Fields. There's a shortcut here if you want to pop it up. you got this cool dialog. I'll make it a little bit bigger. These here are the fields you're going to protect. It needs to be spelled exactly like the field that you're going to protect. And then all of these are options down here that change things. I've made this very easy for you. You've got update settings when you want to update, and then you've got import settings if you're just importing tags. This is also what I'd recommend just in general in case you do update something or import something on accident, then it doesn't overwrite everything. So use this when you're updating and then come back and do this. You can set your own defaults as well. So I'm going to click the update settings, which means I'm ready to update the deck. I've got these in here so that I can protect my fields. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video, there may be some of you that want to protect the text or the extra fields. If that's you, you want to add that in there like this, and then you're going to want to watch the part at the very end of the video about getting the errata. For most of you, I would strongly recommend do not put your own edits in that field. Use these four fields. Uh, then you'll get all of my updates. Now I showed you that deck description, uh, that fancy thing that I've got lots of information in there for you. We want to update that. We want to update the note styling. We do not want to combine tagging. We, we want it to update. And we don't want all fields are special. We only want these fields to be special, to be protected. And then this one here, update only if newer. Previously, you had to make the cards newer and import them and whatever. Basically, if you leave this unchecked, it means it's going to force it to update every single time. That's one of the cool things that special fields does. Okay, and then we've got the protected tags. This is one of the new features, which is really cool. And I'm going to protect this tag, which means I want it to be saved. Now I'm gonna go into the browser. You'll see I've got missed question. I've added this. This is, you know, I'm missing practice questions. I'm adding this tag and I wanna keep that. I don't want it to be uh, gone when I update. And then I've also added this tag that I don't care about here. So that you'll see that that's going to be erased <laughs> after this update, just to kind of show you how it works. Um, so let's go back here tools, special fields. Okay, so like I said, click the update settings button. It's going to automatically configure all of that. Configure this how you want and then add the protected tags. And if you hover over this, there's a little like pop-up that'll show up just to remind you. This is case sensitive. It needs to be exactly like it is on your tag. And it doesn't necessarily need to be the whole tag. It's just a phrase in that tag. And you can also add something else. If you add a space and then tag two, then it will protect both of those tags. So you can do multiple different phrases and that will protect those. So we'll click save. And now I'm going to update to this deck here. We'll click on that. It's going to process for a while because there's like 40,000 flashcards in there. But this is going to update the deck. It's going to add new flashcards. It's going to update all of the fields except those four that we protected. It's going to update all of the tags except the one tag that we protected. And it's going to change the note type to the new version two of the note type. And hopefully this goes reasonably quick. 
Okay, so we get this pop-up. This is really important. I would highly recommend that you read this pop-up. You'll see it says notes updated as file had a new, newer version and it says notes added from file. If this says notes skipped for whatever reason, you did something wrong, you don't want it to be skipping anything. And you can actually scroll through these. For example, you can see down here, you can see exactly which notes are added. You can read all things that were updated. If it does say skipped, you can scroll down and find the cards that were skipped and figure out what's going on and why they didn't update. So I'm gonna hit close and now I'll click on this, you'll see if I go here, now it's version 9 and version 4 instead of version 8 like it was. Go into the browser, you'll see now we have version 9. But we also have this version 8 tag that's still like hanging out, right? And there's version 3 is there too. Um, and you'll see the tag I don't care about is there, but there's no card showing. This is why step 3 is to clean up. It's really important that you do the cleanup. So you're going to want to go to notes, clear unused tags. And now you see it cleans everything up. It protected this missed questions one, it got rid of the one I don't care about, and now you've got all of the updated cards. Mine have colors here because I have the better tags add on, but this is basically the gist of it. And if we go to note types and I click on the on King Master, you'll see now there's only one, and all of the other 40,000 clash cards got updated to version two, which is really, really cool. So that is essentially the quick update there. Like I said, you want to clear unused tags. The other thing you want to do is go to tools, check media, you're going to check media, it's going to process. Now, I don't have any media files in here just for copyright reasons showing this on YouTube, but you will have some that are here and, and you'll need to delete the unused one. It just makes it smaller file size so you sync better. And the other thing you want to do is tools, empty cards, um, because inevitably there's going to be some cards that were deleted. This means two of three cards are empty. So that means there was a close with C1, C2, C3, and now there's only C1. We deleted C2 and C3, so you want to delete those cards essentially. So you're going to hit delete on that and that's emptying the card. So that's the cleanup process. Now I'm gonna show you the exact same thing real quick with the MCAT. Now remember this, Mile Down Deck is not mine, it's just downloaded right from the internet. So if you have that and you've already been using it, you can just update to this MCAT deck using the special fields add-on. Now, if you were ending here, you would go to tools, oops, not add-ons, you'd go to tools, special fields, and if you're done, this is one of the cleanup things I would recommend, go to import tag settings. Like I said, it just protects it in case you uh, accidentally do anything. But I'm gonna stay on update settings. We'll update to the MCAT deck real quick. This one should be quicker because it's a much smaller deck, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, there we go. All right, so now you can see we added one file, we updated everything else. We'll go in here, we click on this. Now we've got this cool fancy deck description that I added in there. Go to the browser, Again, we want to go to notes, clear unused tags, and then you're also going to want to check the media and empty cards as well. I'm not going to do that right now. Now you can see I've got this new tag. We've got the new tags that we've organized in here, all sorts of really fancy stuff. So that's kind of the gist of it, uh, updating. Now, lastly, there's some of you that are going to protect your text in extra fields. I'm going to go into the browser, and you'll see that I've added these tags under Onking Updates, Errata. And I've added exactly which text and extra fields I've changed. So, if, for example, you're on version seven, and you know there's this card here about the fifth intercostal space, and I've added these updates here that actually they're saying don't use the second one anymore. We don't recommend that. So there's there's reasonable changes, and you may want to get these updates. If that's you. You can actually export these and then import just these flashcards with the text in the extra section, so that you're only updating like 86 instead or whatever it is. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to want to do, if that's you, you're going to go to File, Switch Profile, and I've created a new one here. You would just add one, Errata Updates, and I'll open. And you're going to import the exact same file that you had before for, uh, you know, this is the version 9 deck, the updated deck. You're going to up uh, import that one. So you've got a brand new deck in here. Now you're going to go to this tag, Updates, Errata, and just so you know, if you are using both of these, there are there is one down here in Step 2 as well. And you're going to find the cards that you want to update. So if you're updating for the first time, you may select all of them. Uh, if you're just on version 9, you'll just do version 9, whatever that is. So you're going to click that. You'll select all the cards. You'll go to Notes, Export Notes, and you actually don't need any scheduling or media. You uncheck those to save you, and then Export. And I've already exported it here just so that you know how that works. Now I would go back to my personal profile here, and I would reset up special fields. Now you would have protected the text field or the extra field or whatever. So you're going to redo the update with just this file now that has about 300 cards instead of all 40,000. And when you do that update, 
Same thing, you wanna click update settings, set up your tags, whatever else you wanna do, but this time you're gonna delete that and you are gonna update the text and extra fields for just those 300 flashcards. That's kind of the gist of it. I know that's quite a bit. Watch the beginning of this video again if you need to to understand how this process works. If you understand how it works, you'll be able to do all sorts of really cool things. For example, you can use the, if you go to tools, special fields, you use import tag settings. You can actually share tags with your classmates and be importing tags for lectures and all sorts of things like that, which can be really helpful. So again, thank you to everybody that made this special fields add-on way easier to use and awesome. It allows us to do really cool things with the note types and all sorts of changes moving forward. Also check out the Anki Hub stuff. There is a lot of really cool things coming this way. We're excited and it's gonna make it so that you won't have to do this process anymore. It'll all be automatic. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnkingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.